have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people That's that are right. upon the face of the earth. Hey, right. I want y'all brothers to know something. When I read the scripture, people walked off. That's what I want you to understand. Look, look at them walking off when I showed them that they're the greatest thing God put on the planet Earth. Right. That's how sick our people are. Right. We, show, we show our people the greatest thing God put on the planet, they walk away. Right. They hate that the prophets are back teaching our people the truth. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. That is who we are. You know why men, black men kill each other? Because they don't see each other in Jesus Christ. We are Israelites from the time of the Jews. Let's go to Hebrews uh, 7 and 14. Because they don't see each other in Jesus Christ. Let's go to Hebrews 7 The question you have, I guarantee you, everybody out here got the same question, but they're too scared to ask. So I applaud you for that. So now we're going to get your answer. Watch what the Bible says. Come on. Chapter 28, verse 15. Yeah. It shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So listen to what the Lord, is, this is what Moses is saying to the Israelites, our fathers and mothers. He said, if you don't listen to what God says to do, read to observe, to do all his commandments. To do all that God said to do, his commandments, his laws, his statutes, read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So now listen to what the Lord said. He said, if you don't listen, all these curses are gonna overtake you. They're gonna come upon you and overtake you. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing, bad sis? Thing. You say a bad, bad thing. Sis, wait, 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 don't, sis. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing. You agree, sis? It's a bad thing, right? Now, so watch this, sis. Let's see some curses to see who it fits today, right now. Watch what the Bible says. Give me verse 32. Verse 32. Thy wait, 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 wait. Let her listen. I want her to hear it. I want you to hear it. Read. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. And thy, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. When were our sons and daughters given unto another people, y'all? Slavery. That's right. Slavery. That's how the majority of y'all got here was the port in Charleston, South Carolina. An hour and a half down the way. That's how we got here, y'all. Right here, look. This is what happened to our fathers and mothers. Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Ain't that Bible prophecy, y'all? Did that happen to us, sisters? Did that happen? Yes, sir. Did you hear what the Bible said? Did you hear it? You wanna hear it again? Let's hear it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Meaning another race of people. Were well, our fathers and mothers given to another race of people, y'all? You say no? He said three. Can you hear what I said? Can you hear me? Were our fathers and mothers given unto another race of people? I can't hear you. You don't know? Listen right here, sis. Were our sons and daughters given unto another race of people in state? And where? What time period? Come on, y'all. Bring it out. Hold up again. I want you to keep this nice and high. Now look, sister, sister, look. Come closer. I want y'all to see this sign. Come. Don't be so scared. We're your brothers. Come. Y'all ain't got, y'all eyes ain't that good. You can't see though. Look. Auction slave blocks. Auction slave blocks. We were brought here in slavery and sold on an auction slave block. Right. This is how you got a white Jesus. Right. This is how you got uh, the Baptist church, right. the Catholic church, right. the Methodist church. Right. Where all the churches y'all go to come from? Slavery. Right. Before slavery, we didn't know nothing about this guy right here. Look, hold it higher. All the way up. Hold it all the way up. We didn't know nothing about this until we got to America. Right. Right. 
Until we got to the shores of Charleston, South Carolina, we didn't know nothing about no white Jesus. Right. right. And guess what? White Jesus ain't in the Bible. Right. But guess who pushes it to you? Your slave master. Right. And when did we learn, man? What time we learned this? Yeah, you right there with the glasses. Yeah. Don't be scared. I'm your brother. What time period did we learn this? You don't know? Big man in the back. What time period? See this white Jesus right here? What time period did we learn this? Slavery. Slavery. While they were beating out our true identity, they were indoctrinating us with a white Jesus. For instance, if I ask a young man right here, point to Jesus. Which one is, come point to Jesus, young man. Come on, come on, brother. You can do it. Which one is Jesus? Point to him. You go to church? You go to church? Okay, in your church, right? Point to the one that looks like Jesus in your church. Go ahead. Just point. Point to one. Get this on the camera. Look, look, look. Get it, brother. Which one? Which one? There you go, right there. Hey, is that your son? Whose son is that? That's your son? You see a problem here? You brought a problem in? You don't see a problem? What? Christ is a black man look like you and your son. That's right! A white man. Christ is not a white man. Right. So you're going to church and indoctrinating your son with white supremacy. Right. right. That's right. That's Dylan Roof right here. This Dylan Roof daddy right here. Right. This ain't no. This ain't Christ. Right. Christ is a black man. That's, That's right. right. Thank you. And guess what we can do, y'all? We can prove it. Watch this. Give it, in, give it again. Revelation. Watch this. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. Bring it up. His head and his hair Somebody were, hold up were white like wool. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on now. His hair on his head and the hair on his face was what? Was white like wool. Wait a minute. Which one got white woolly hair? Hold it all the way up, bro. All the way up. Which picture got white woolly hair? I want the sisters to answer. My sister. Which one got white woolly hair? Like the Bible says. Woolly hair like yours. That's right. That's Beautiful right. woolly hair right. like Jesus and God. So wait a minute. Knowing that, knowing that Christ got white woolly hair, why would we do that to our hair? See the promises? That's how you dodge it. Come here, young man. You right there in the green shirt. Come right here. Come, 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 come. This man has hair like Christ. That's right. That's right. woolly hair right there. Bring it up. Our sisters love to straighten and perm and oppress. Bring You're oppressing your hair. Right. You understand? Because right. your hair is supposed to be beautiful like this. That's right. You understand, my sister? Read it again. His head and his hair were white like wool. So what are we reading about, sisters and brothers? The greatest man to walk the planet Earth. That's right. And what he looks like. Because guess what? Brother man, what's your name, brother man? Stan? Terrence. Stan. Terrence. Terrence, when, you, when your son has a white Jesus in his head, how is he going to treat this young man right here? How is he going to How is he gonna look at him? For instance, I'll give you an example. When we have a white Jesus as the greatest per people in the planet Earth, how do we look at other white people like they're better than us? That's right. That's why we only look at him. We look at another black man as just another nigga. Right. I could kill him. I could rob him. I could steal from him. I could sleep with his woman. I could do all manners of evil to him. But to the white man, oh, hell no. That's massa. I can't do nothing to him. That's right. Hey, it's Jesus. I got to worship him on Sunday. Y'all see the problem? That's why there's something called black on black violence. You understand? Why? All these brothers that shoot up the damn block, what they got in their head? Or, or, on their neck? A, cr a crystal cross or a white Jesus or a white Jesus tattoo? Right. That's right. That's again. His head and his hair were white like wool, Read. as white as snow. That means fully white. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. It says his eyes were as a flame of fire. What did Christ drink? Wine. What happens with black folks? Black folks when they drink some red wine. Yeah, Mars, who said that? Me. Mars, me. Sister, me. That's you all right. You are you are exactly 100 percent correct. So that's yeah. why it describes Christ. The, what, the whites of his eyes had a reddish tint. Read. As a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass. Wait a minute. It said Jesus' feet was like fine brass. My sisters, what color is brass? Green. Uh green. No. Brown. Brown. My sister. Brown. Okay. Right. Let's read on. Let's see how brown Jesus was. 
as if they burned in a furnace. So wait a minute, Brother Man. You take that brown and you burn it in a furnace. Now it's burning, it's burnt. What color is it? Black. What color is it, my sister? Sister, don't walk yet. Sis. I'm not walking. What, what color is it? I'm not walking. She missed it. She missed it. Oh, what you say? And his feet like a divine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. I want to ask the young man. Jesus Christ's feet is described as brown, as if it burned in a furnace. What color is that, young man? Now, now that you understand, you heard that, what color, point to the one that looks more like Jesus now. Come on, brother, you can do it. Point to the one that looks like Jesus now, that the Bible describes as Jesus. Look at both pictures. You want to hear it again? Read it again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Which one got white woolly hair? Which one, on these two pictures, which one his hair is white and woolly? You see your pr brother, do you see a problem? There's a problem here, brother. Look, this one got white, woolly hair, does it not? Is that woolly like yours? Your hair is woolly, right? Okay, so which one is correct so far? Okay, read. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes were as a flame of fire, read. And his feet like a defined brass. Sister, don't go nowhere yet. We didn't get your identity. We want you, I want y'all to hear this. I want y'all to hear this. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. So wait, which one got which one got feet like brass, like brown, burned in a furnace? If your feet are brown, what color is your face? Huh? Okay, so which one is correct? Woo -hoo, show it to him, show it to him. That's brass, burnt in a furnace. So what color is that? It looks just like you, does it not? So what color is Jesus? Say it nice and loud, brother. Be confident. You a king, man. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. That's, that's, that's right. That's no, right. Ask, he asked like it's a question. No, I want you to be confident, brother. You read it for yourself. Read it right there. Nice and loud. Come on. Hey, and his hair were as white. Hold on. White. white like wool. Speak up, brother. You can do it. His Come on, brother. And his hair were white like wool. That's right. As white as snow and his eyes and his feet. As a flame? As a flame of fire. Keep going. As if they burned in a furnace. So Christ was a dark skinned black man. That's right. Black man. Guess what? Huh? What you say, sis? What that shout y'all say? What y'all shout just now? That Christ is a black man, and we just proved it out of the Bible. Okay. Now, watch this. What was Christ a Jew? Was Jesus a Jew? Was Jesus a Jew? He's a Jew, right? So wait a minute. If he's black and he's a Jew, what color was his daddy? Bring it out. Bring it out. If Jesus was black and Jesus is a Jew, what color is his daddy? What color is his daddy? Is he black? And he's a Jew. What color is his mama? Huh? No, oh, God. Watch this. Okay. Let's watch, watch what the Bible says. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Matamilia is the twelve. Read Jeremiah chapter fourteen and verse two. Bring it out. Two in the morning. Wait a minute. You listening? Did you hear what the Bible said? 
You're playing games, man. I want you to hear the system. This is life-changing information here we're giving you. Watch what the Bible says. Judah morning. The prophecy is that Judah, can you see this? What does it say right here? What does that say, y'all? What does it say right here? Why y'all so far? Why, why y'all so far? Are y'all scared? Why? Look, look what it says. Right? What does it say? What? Okay, I understand. I understand. I got you. What about you, young man? What does it say right here? Judah. Judah. It says Judah is in mourning. M O U R N I N G. In mourning. The real Jews are in mourning. The fake Jews or the converts, the Israelis, are they in mourning? No. You say no. Wait, what about y'all? Are they in mourning? Do they have their own land? Do they have their own military? Do they have nuclear weapons? Bring it out. Yes. Do they have their own economy? Bring it out. Yes. Do they have their own their own face on their own money? Yeah. Yes. Right. So Four. they don't fit this prophecy that we read about right here. Right. Right. Read it again. Judah mourning and the gates thereof language. So it says Judah is in mourning and the gates language. When you what, sis, when you got a gate. When you got a gate around your house, what's the point of a gate? What's the point of a gate around your, your property? Huh? Keep out or to stay in. Right, to keep out, right, or to stay in. In other words, the leadership of Judah is languishing. They have no leadership. That's right. That's right. You understand? They have no leaders. Who's our leaders today, brother? Who's a black leader? Name one. And what the hell is he doing for us? Where he at? Where's the black leaders at? Huh? Sister Ray, sis, sis, what name me some good black leaders? No, 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 right now, right now, brother man, he's an elder. Can you name me some good black leaders right now? Great. Can you name me some good black leaders right now? A good black leader. You okay? What about that's that's uh, over the nation, black people. That's helping black people. Name me one. I can't hear you. Barack Obama's a black leader. He was the president, but what did, okay, were you in a, were black people in the same position before Barack Obama as he, they are after Barack Obama? They're not? You agree with that? Are black people better off after Barack Obama's been in office or are we in the same position? Are we in the same position? We're in the same position, y'all. Yes, right. There's no good black leaders out here that mean us any good. Right. None. So watch the prophecy again. Read it again. Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. Judah no. mourneth and the gates thereof language. So when it goes into the gates, it goes into our protection or our leadership. Read. They are black. Woo! Did you hear what the Bible just said? It said the Jews are black. Yes. Yes. The Bible just said the Jews are black people. Yes. That's right. Bring it out. There's no such thing as a white Jew. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to bust your bubble. What? I'm looking at the real Jews right now. What? You are the real Jews. That's what? Right. Read it again. Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 2. To the mortar and the gates don't have language. They are black. What color are the Jews? They are black. What color are the Jews? They are black. So the Bible says I'm looking at the real Jews right now. Yeah, the right, real Jews right. are black people scattered in South Carolina, right here, calling themselves Geechee, calling themselves blacks. Right. No, you're greater than that. Right. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Bring it out. You know that? You know that you're the greatest thing God ever created? Do you know that? Sister Ray, sis, sis, sister, do you know you're the greatest thing God ever put on this, this planet? Bring it out. You know that? So knowing that, why, and God said that's what you are, why would you not do what God told you to do? Come over this way, sis. Come over this way, sis. That's your sister. Okay. Read it again. Jeremiah. Come on. Come on. Jeremiah, chapter 14, and verse 2. Okay. Judah mourneth. So the scripture says Judah is in mourning. That's why we always got to have a march, a rally. Then the roof comes shoot us up in our churches. We don't do the same to them. That's right. That, there's no Chinese Trayvon Martin, right, is there? Out. Is there an East Indian Breonna Taylor around here somewhere I don't know about? Right. Where's where is it at? It don't exist. It only happens to the tribes of Israel. Yes, right. Every time it happens to us. My question is why? Sis, why? Why, why? I can't hear you. 
They want to take over everything? Well, do we let them take over everything? Come, come, sis, come, sis. You can come closer. Don't be, don't be so scared. Everybody got a barrier like there's a barrier around here. Y'all can come closer so I can hear you. Come on, read it again. Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 2. To the mortars and the gates that have language. Hey, sis, sister right here. Sister, sis. Do you know that the real Jews are black people? You know that? Let's see what the, you believe in the Bible, right? That's what the Bible says. Judah, 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 the word Jew, you listen to this? The word Jew is short for what? Can you see what this says? What does it say? I can't see, she, she just lied to me on the Sabbath day, y'all. She just lied to me on the Sabbath day, y'all. Come on, sis. What did I say right there? Judah, right here. Judah. That's your real nationality before. Hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Did this happen to us? Our fathers and mothers? Yes, no. What do you think? That happened to us, sis. You understand? Why did this happen to us? Because we broke God's laws. That's right. Read it again. To the motive. So that's why we always got to have a march, a rally. We riot for George Floyd. We riot for Breonna Taylor. We riot for Ahmaud Arbery, who's just a little older than your son. Am I right or am I wrong? But what, when did these things happen to anybody else? It don't happen to anybody else but us. Right. Brianna De Taylor died sleeping in her bed. Right. Right. And guess what? Nobody went to jail. Right. Right. You didn't know that? You didn't know that? Come on, sis. Come on. Read it again. To the motive and the gates. They're all language. They're all black. See that she walked away before she heard the point. The Bible just said the real Jews are black people. Uh, that's right. You that's right. are the real Jews. So right. when you turn on the news and you see those people in Israel, those are called converts. Revelation 2 and 9. Bring it out. Y'all understand that? Actually, those are called Jewish, which means that they're something like Jews, but they're not. Right. Yes, yes, the they are converts. You know, in other words, in the 600 AD, they converted to your true identity. And guess what? You see this right here? See this right here, sis? Jewish people enslaved your slavery. They got wealthy off of us being enslaved. They shored the slave ships. Y'all know that? Did y'all know that? Y'all didn't know that. You understand? So y'all gotta wake up and see the games being played on y'all. Read it again. Jeremiah, Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. Bring it out. To the morning, and the gates are of language. They are black. What color are the Jews? They are black. What color are the Jews? They are black. Wait a minute, brothers and sisters. What we're going over is your royalty. That's what we're proving out of the Bible. Did you know that? You know your royalty? Deuteronomy 7 and 6. I'm going to show you what... Your Christian churches have never shown you in your life. Bring it out. Watch what the Bible says. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou. Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't walk away just yet. I want you to hear this one scripture. I want you to get this. Read. For thou are in holy people. So wait a minute. It says the Israelites are a holy people. What does the word holy mean? Who knows? The word holy. What does it mean? Holy means se separate or set apart. Meaning you're different than everybody else, that's right? That's, right. that's what the word holy means, right. right? Unto the Lord thy God, the Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people. Wait, brother man, brother man, let them listen. They missing a good point. Let them listen, let them listen, let them listen. Listen, listen, y'all. I want y'all to hear this. Read it again from the top. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God, the Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people. Woo! God chose the Israelites, so-called black people, to be special. That's right, that's he right, chose right. you to be special. Right. You understand? Read. Unto himself, Read. above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Hey, wait, hey, wait, hey, wait, hey. I never in my life heard that in church. It out, it's it out. Out. There's a people that God created that's above all people that's upon the face of the earth. Right. Did y'all get that? Did we read that wrong, y'all? Did we read it wrong? 
We ready to roll? You come read it. Come here. Come here. I want you to read it for yourself. You don't want to read it? There's a people, and I'm looking at those people. You are those people that are greater than everybody else that got on this earth. Right. That's what I want y'all to understand. Read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou are an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people That's that are right. upon the face of the earth. Hey, right. I want y'all brothers to know something. When I read the scripture, people walked off. That's what I want you to understand. Look, look at them walking off when I showed them that they're the greatest thing God put on the planet Earth. Right. That's how sick our people are. Right. We, show, we show our people the greatest thing God put on the planet. They walk away. Right. You think these, these young men are great? Oh, they are. They are great, right? Now, if I could prove it to you that they are great out of what God said, would you walk away from that? But a whole bunch of people just walked away when I showed them that they're God's chosen people. Right. And they're better than everybody else. Right. Right. Read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou are an holy people. So the Bible says the Israelites, the nation of Israel is a holy people. These young men are holy. You're supposed to be holy, sis. Read. Right. Unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. The Bible says God chose the nation of Israel. You are the nation of Israel from the tribe of Judah, primarily. That's right. Read. To be a special people unto himself. So the Bible says God chose you and your sons to be special unto himself. If it says special unto himself, does that mean everybody? No. Very good. That's honest, sister. You are, you're a thinker. You understand? Read. Above. Don't miss it. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Woo! I like that smile. Look, she's smiling. That's the that's the smile and the spirit we supposed to have seen when we read this to our people. Because guess what? Hold the sign up. Hold it up. When they did this to us, they sure felt better than you. And guess what? Today, go that way, go that way. Today, right now, while they're at this festival with you, they still know they're above you. They still feel they're above you. They made us slaves, y'all. This is what they did to us. This is what they did to our fathers and mothers. Young as that young man right there, if this was slavery, they would put him in the cotton field. That's right. right. Some young men like him would die in the cotton field. You understand that, sis? But some young men like these two right here would be sold off and you without your babies. Right? Auction slave blocks. This is Bible history. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.